Good afternoon. Welcome to the Mom's Choice Awards Filming Studio at Book Expo 2012. I'm here this afternoon with Jason Lynch, author of the award-winning book, Everyone Has Hope. Welcome to the studio. Thank you. Welcome Thank to you. your first BEA. Yes, my very first one. Has it been fun today? Yes, there are a lot of people to meet. I like to visit. Yes. Yes. Yeah. There's no shortage of anything to do. No, not at all. Not at all. So tell me about the book. Um, actually, the book is inspired by my family's story. It's a story about how when my mom passed away, all the stuff that my dad went through as an adult, and then we turned that into a children's book. So actually, my family are the characters in the book. My dad's the chocolate-colored teddy bear, I'm the green teddy bear, and my sister's the yellow teddy bear. Now, did they help collaborate on what points that you wanted to make in the story, since it is part of their story too? Um, actually, no. It was a surprise to all of them. I surprised my dad on his birthday last year with the book, and then my sister on her birthday. They didn't know. Really? Yep. Were their birthdays close enough together that one uh, didn't May tell the other? May and June, yep. That's really cool. Yep. Now, why teddy bears? Um, I have a toy and teddy bear making company, and um, I think teddy bears are a very warming character I have in a children's book, so that's why I picked teddy bears. Now, this is a book, it's a children's book, but as we were talking before we came on camera, it's really for everyone. Right. Why do you say that? It's for everyone because it helps people deal with loss and disappointment. And it goes through the process of when you're upset or grieving that eventually you're going to feel better. There may not be a point where you think you're so sad that you're never going to smile again, but in the book it actually shows kids that teddy bears can cry, but it also shows that teddy bears can be happy too. And it's okay to be happy. Yep, and it's okay to be happy, yep. yes. Now, do you have other plans for additional stories for this? for these characters? Um, we are still up in the air on that, actually. Um, we are going to definitely, we want to do books that help impact people's lives. Now, they may not be about the same subject matter, but it's definitely going to be about teddy bears who help and make an impact in people's lives. Do you have specific themes that you want to pull out or just sort of let, when when it's the right idea, it'll just sort of It will it just occur moment. to me. It will just occur to me. Just like this book. I actually wrote it in about 30 minutes. Really? Yes, yes. Wow, so the illustrations, because you've got photo illustrated teddy bears, obviously had to take a little bit longer. It sure did, but I literally pulled over in a rest area and typed it on my laptop in 30 minutes. That's awesome. Yes, yeah. Now, have you, what kind of groups do you share the story with? Do you do just any school group or libraries? Um, I actually travel all over the country. I go to conferences and conventions, and a lot of times I work with funeral homes that want a way to talk to the children that they serve and don't know how to get the conversation started about losing someone in their life. So I go to funeral directors' conferences, I go to trade shows, I go to elementary schools, social workers. I travel to very, any group that would have a market to talk to kids about how to um, deal with their emotions. Now, do you have the opportunity to talk with kids yourselves in oh, small yes. groups? Yes, I go to elementary schools, um, I go to church groups, and I try to be, I'm an author that travels. I, I do small mini events all over the country. Is there a particular story or a particular memory that really touched your heart from one of the times that you were sharing the book with kids? Um, I think really, honestly, because um, a lot of the characters and, and the scenes they're in are really in my small town. I live in a small town called Friendly, West Virginia. It's a, <laughs> it's a rural community. And there's lots of, like my mom and dad used to live on the creek and there's pictures of teddy bears on the creek. They used to do stuff together and it's a lot of like the grass and the nature and things that they used to do together. Do you find, it? speaking of nature and being outdoors and those kinds of things, do you find it hard to reach kids with picture books when they've still got that lore of, you know, the magic thumb games and videos? No, and actually, because I do a lot with the kids that's very interactive. I, I, I show them, like, we do the, what's the teddy bear look like if they cry? So they, they I interact with them, so I think, you know, and what's a teddy bear look like when they're happy? And actually, there's a scene in the book where the, there's a teddy bear that holds its breath because it's upset. That's what teddy bears, when they get mad, they hold their breath. And that's why I, I do. I did not know that. That's right. I learned something today. <laughs> yes. Now, if people wanted to reach out and um, get you to speak at a conference or talk to kids, what's the best way to reach you? Um, I have a uh, blog on Blogspot, and it's called Bears of Hope. Uh, inspired by the book. Excellent. Yes. Well, thank you for joining us thank today. You. And good luck with the next thank book. You. Thank you very much. Congratulations. Thank you.